Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. We got another great episode for you today. We're going to be doing a little bit more exploring. We're going to work on some exocraft. We're going to work on some missions and make a bunch of money and some more nanites as well. So I hope you enjoy this episode. And uh, if you do, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. As I look at the analytics, I can see about 20% of the people who watch my channel are subscribed. So I hope if you are enjoying this that you would consider giving us a sub today if you think we've earned it and liking the video as well. Let's jump right back into the action, pick up where we left off last time. I like these little rock formations they're doing now. Pretty sweet. Nice, two white boxes, which is what I need to get my health back. Man, I got I got almost 5,000 nanites. I ain't gonna study those eggs right now. Oh, I forgot my signal booster. The whole reason I came here. So let's triangulate the position. Position logged, ready for next position. How many positions you got, bro? All right, and what do we say? If you're gonna whip it out, use it to its full potential. Crash freighter, meh. Not super interesting. All right, so where is this next one? Over there? Hey guys, how y'all doing? I enter the digits and wait. Distant point in space is revealed. Nothing found. Nice. I think it's probably because that freighter's already discovered, and it's the same type of thing that I would get. That's that's what I think. I may be wrong. I'm often wrong. All right, let's get our last triangulation. All right, return to space and wait for Artemis to call. Incoming message, frequency Artemis. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. Locate a hollow terminus, C to scan. Oh, cool. Maybe we can find a glitch. This looks like a glitch planet. Oh, look at this. Crazy. It's a floating crystal. There's a living ball. That's Q. What's up, Q? These floating crystals usually give you some expensive metals, if I remember correctly. Let's find out. All right, let's see what we get. Aronium, mango gold, and dirty bronze. So these are the things that you can refine into gold and silver to, uh, to make some extra cash. All right, what was I doing? Hollow Terminus. Where is it at? Let's go. Made it. Barely. Hollow Terminus activated. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Activate it. Signal match detected. What's up, Artie? Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Give it to me. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. Cause I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I sketched the stars. If you visit a space station, you should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Alright, so now we get the uh, little translator thingy. I don't have copper. We'll get with that. we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, sweet. Light fisher. I'm gonna run around and see if I can grab some glyphs. Not glyphs. Um, glitches. So you see this question mark uh, that says that that is a, uh, something I can pick up. The light fisher. It's a, there's, I think, 16 glitch planets. That sounds about right. Maybe 12. I don't know. 16 seems like the right number, though, doesn't it? Um, and you can get these items right here, which are used for building, which means actually what you can do is you can place them down um, at your base. And you can change their color and just use them for decoration. So I'm going to see if I can find a couple. You know, they really tie the room together. This rug I have, they really tied the room together. But you can't see them. All right, see that yellow thing? I'm pretty sure that's one. All 
Yep. Nailed it. Now, if your visor will pick them up, you'll see that question mark, but often your visor doesn't, and it's easier to see them at night because they're a little bit different color. It's so weird how you can land it some places and others you can't. Like, I wouldn't have thought I'd be able to land it on that angle. Like, that seems like a better place to me. So if we need more of those, we know where to get them. All right, so this mango gold's worth 25. Turned into 125 gold, and now it is worth 44. What's going on? Oh, hostels? Where are you? Where are you hostels at? Gimme. Is that it? Is that all you got? I'm a nuisance. I have destroyed 10 starships. run to the station real quick dump some stuff grab my oxygen while I'm here I'll take that and I'll take that I think I need some copper for that thing 100 copper take that Dihydrogen jelly. So uh, I had a comment. I did this, but I cut it out. You can buy this dihydrogen jelly and refine it uh, into uh, dihydrogen. Uh, it's, it's the best way to do it. Honestly, it's super quick. And this residual goop, you can buy and refine it a couple times down into nanites if you want to do that. It's pretty cheap. And then we'll sell some chlorine to the, this fine gentleman. Uh, okay, so we're going to sell that. So the thing about selling to these guys is it's not going to trash the economy because they they give you the prices of the station, but they don't affect the economy. They don't affect the plus or minus of the station. So there's another four and a half million. Some pugnium. Get some old scrap. I got three suspicious movement modules. All right, so we got all X class. So let me sell those, get some more nanites. See, so I'm at 4,800, 7,500. So we just kind of do this along and along. It's kind of our routine. Then, uh, you know, you don't ever have to really worry about it much. All right, so now we need to build the the Artemis translator, which needs a microprocessor and the copper we bought. Now we can like no more words and stuff. I'm gonna destroy that as soon as I'm done with it. All right, let's keep this moving. Now we can also build a large refiner, you know, because they're cool. Because I should be able to build two of these. I'm going to build them over here. That's the most you can build right next to each other. I can build some more. I just have to build them further apart. The nice thing about the larger refiner is you can put three things together if you want to. I'm not worried about that right now. We're just in the chlorine business. Everything's working. I think I could probably put some more down over here and over there because they have to be so many distance from each other. But, uh, but yeah, so again, it's just my little side hobby. My little side hobby making money. Can we come in, please? Knock, knock. Open the hole. Thank you. Let's see if there's anything good here. Survey, hunt dangerous pirates, tame wild creatures, uh, burrow and cure, kill 50 monsters. Okay, so this one, uh, this is kind of what I've been looking for. Tame wild creatures. So I'm going to grab that one. I think I have like a minute or something to get out of here. So anyway. Well, we gotta come back, so we'll come back to turn it in. So the reason I want this mission is uh, because it's going to give me an item that costs 10 salvage data for free. It's gonna give me the food processor because in this mission, taming creatures means we're going to be uh, cooking, uh, cooking bait. And honestly, I'm not concerned about 
completing the mission because the reward was like some wire looms or something. It wasn't ex wasn't exciting, and I honestly don't have a ton of time right now. So I'm gonna just run down to the planet's surface. All right, so tech nutrient processor. So now I can build it. I need metal plating and hermetic seal. I need two metal platings and one hermetic seal. So I'm gonna build several of these. Uh, so I need six of those and then three of those and I'll build three. So I'm gonna build one, two, three, and this is so I can have them in different places. Okay, uh, now here's what's cool about a nutrient processor. A nutrient processor, you know, you can put food or carbon metal stuff like that in here and only tell it lets you put in here what's in here just like the refiner interface but if you access ingredient storage you've got 25 more slots to keep stuff in here so i can put all my carbon and my condensed carbon in there and then i pick this up and put it in my pocket and i got it but if i open a different one it's kind of like the ender chest they're all connected so i've got access to them in any of them and i'm gonna leave one of them here i'm gonna keep one in my pocket and i'm gonna put one on my freighter when I get that. And you know what, it's kind of like a barbecue. I'm gonna just stick it right here, right here. And then we'll put one storage container and I'll keep one on me. And let me go do my chlorine thing real quick. Starship, bam, there we go. And now we've got another 12 million. All right, so now I'm gonna fly back up to the anomaly and I'm gonna quit that mission because I don't really want to do it right now. Whoever said Bob's a quitter, they're, they're partially right. Now, if you've never done that before, if you've never um, fed creatures, made animal bait, all that stuff, it's worth doing. It, it kind of teaches you some stuff. So uh, if you're new to this game, definitely do it. I've done it 12 or 15 times, so I'm good. All right, so I'm going to leave the mission. I'm done. More blueprints. I think I want the Nomad. Yeah, I think I want the Nomad. Because my planet is kind of it's kind of hard to get around. Oops, sorry. That was too close, wasn't it? What's up, Toothy? Yeah? I swear I dated somebody that looked like that in uh in high school. Yeah, maybe it was college. I was young. I don't know that I dated them. Should probably stop talking about that now. All right. Uh humble drive. Uh, high power sonar for submarines, exocraft signal booster, acceleration module. So let's get some of this technology. All right, so I've got all of this stuff here. Um, not really worried about this stuff right now because my planet doesn't need it. I may uh, I may deal with that later. And I was just going to show you. Here's the nutrient processor. I haven't unlocked it yet, even though I've got one in my inventory nope inventory uh right there so save yourself 10 salvage data if you want to oh yeah let me talk to you real quick nada what's up i met artemis would you like to hear about the story artemis wishes to meet other travelers but they have seems artemis friend has forgotten nada curious it is good to help this entity traveler friend but nada advises caution who is that artemis artemis entity was slash is a traveler entity one like you nada had made them safe they were known to nada this entity may be Artemis entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis entity to be, or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules, and they would punish us. Acknowledging rules is dumb. Oh, I got some Quicksilver. Okay, so I just got 150 Quicksilver for, for that little combo. And I want to buy something from you, sir. I, I'm tired of recharging my ship. So I need this. Why is that pink? Has it always been pink? It probably has. All right, so let's uh, uh, craft that. Two of those, five of those, two of those. Okay. All right, we got that. So this is gonna recharge for us. There we go. I need some more room though. Let's throw that in there. There we go. Got our emergency fuel. All right, we're gonna have to go do some warping and uh, exploring a little bit to get my suit filled out. 
all the way, or at least more, because I'm pretty uh, pretty rough right now, to be honest with you. And now I'm sitting on 6, 12, 18, about 20 million right there too. So, I mean, I'm 27, so just, just do this along and along. If you want to sit here for an hour and do it, knock yourself out. I just like to kind of do it along as I go. All right, so we need a some paraffinium, which I've got somewhere in here. Let's see, I think it's in my storage container. There we go. And I need, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, um, where is it? I'm gonna make uh, a Nomad Geo Bay. I'm gonna make a little bay for this guy. I wanna see if I can get this thing pimped out a little bit and see if it works to get around here because I don't think the roamer is going to work because of these mountains and everything. I don't know that this thing is going to go up or not. I don't know. We'll see. But I know it goes over water, so why not give it a shot, right? Let's stick it right there. All right, so this is our Nomad. The cool thing about this summoning thing, if you don't know, is uh, it, wherever you leave this thing, uh, you can summon it back here. So if I get bored and I don't feel like driving all the way back and my ship has a uh, launch fuel in it, just checking to make sure, uh, then I can ride this thing back. So let's see if she, let's see what she does. Yeah, baby. Get you some. Get you some. All right, we're gonna have to, um, oh, sorry, rock. We're gonna have to uh, work on this because it's, it, it could go faster. Definitely go faster. What happens if I let go? Will it just fall? No, it stays. It stays. Holy crap, look at that. I wish I could, could look straight up, but I can't. Look at the little bitty grass. Do I have the experimental patch? I may, I may be an experimental. I don't know. Uh, the the grass has got collision now. In uh, uh oh. Whoa! What happens? Let's see what happens. Whoa! Nothing. We're fine. We're fine. It's got a little boost jump to it. It's got a little booster. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's see what we can do to soup it up. I got some technology. I'm gonna need a butt ton of wire looms. It looks like. Um, let's go grab some wire looms and some dioxide. What do I need? Uh, Fifty dioxide. One, two, three wire looms. Four, five wire looms. I can do some microprocessors. So got those. Storm crystal. We haven't even been to. We haven't even been in a storm yet that I can remember, other than when we started. All right. So summon it. Bink, it's back. And if we want to change the colors of it, we can. I'm a Viking. I gotta have that on there, right? Right panel. We'll go with a Viking on both sides. Number one, baby. Dig it. I dig it. So you see, now that I've got an Exocraft, I've got a new tab that's shown up here. Uh, I didn't have that before, so I've got the Exocraft tab. Uh, it doesn't have a technology. It's just got one, so you, you know it's you can't fit a ton in there. But we can get what we need. Dioxide, one, two, three, four, five wire looms and three storm crystals. Okay, so we got some stuff to hunt. Let me grab our goodies out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, wire looms, wire looms, storm crystals. That's what we're hunting. What's up, brothers? How you doing? It's the pink Vikings over here. This is the pastel boys. You don't want to mess with them. They're way tougher than they look. Uh, 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 wire looms. Yep. Nice. How much would that be? Two billion? Yeah, screw it. Let's just buy them all. That way I want to deal with this again. Um, oxygen. We'll take all of that. All right. So these guys sell chlorine. So I'm going to start smashing this economy on chlorine so that I can come buy here cheaper. So let's go to ship inventory. I've got 50,000. That should knock it down. Let's see if it's the same. I think it's going to knock it down about 50%. So we're gonna sell this for 31 million. All right, now let's buy it back. Yeah, negative 55%. And if we bought it all back, we can buy it all back for 18 million. So that's economy crashing, guys, in a nutshell, if you're not sure how that works. 
Um, but what I hear is this doesn't ever come back. So now I've still got my chlorine that I can go sell again, and I'm up about nine million. Better than a poke in the eye. If I had a full hauler, 48 slots full of that stuff, we'd be making a couple hundred million per system doing that. Uh, the problem is finding systems if you're doing that to that actually will sell it back to you. Oh, look at that. That's right, this place had the awesome fighters too. Now, if you don't want to crash the economy, but you want to sell some place that sells chlorine, uh, if you sell to these guys, uh, it will not, you'll get the same price, so, but they, uh, it will not affect the economy. All right, I haven't seen anybody selling dioxide yet. Let's go check back here. There we go. I'll just take it all. You know what I need? No, I don't. I was going to buy some plasma for my plasma launcher, but that would just encourage me to use it, and I need to work on my bag space anyway. All right, let's sell our chlorine again to this fine gentleman for $39 million. Appreciate you, buddy. Now we're up to $77 million. All right, what do you see? We jump to a few more systems. We can expand our uh, exosuit and maybe get into a fight for a freighter. Kind of dig the colors of this one, so I may come back here. This is my... See, I did one jump, two jumps. So I've only done two jumps, so I've got three more until I get the... Uh, into the battle. Right? Yeah. It's a three-star gag. Let's go check that one out. Alright, let's go in here first. Let's get our uh, expansion before I forget. What's up, Gex? How you doing? Just want to pet you on the head. Do a little Easter Bunny hat on. He did not look happy. Alright, oxygen. Yes, please. What you got here? You got the Easter Bunny hat, too. Good for you. Uh, browse missions. Kill stuff. Kill stuff. Kill stuff. And scan some stuff. Yeah, I'll do it all. I will do it all, because that's the kind of Bob I am. I mean, I don't want to do it right now. I'll get I'll get back to it when I get to it, but... Alright, now we got to call in the anomaly real quick. Get that slot. Alright, let's get some more Quicksilver. 59 monstrosities. Sounds like fun. Do I have unstable plasma in here? The Whispering Swarm. Alright. So 59 monstrosities, I think that's going to be two buildings. But this part's fun and easy. Whoa, look at that planet. Alright, so that's where we're supposed to go. Alright, let's go to the space station first, though. Oh, puke green. Everything is puke green. You guys are horrible. I bet you're mad as hell. Having to fly around in that ugly crap all day? Yikes. Now we should get credit for all those kill missions too, because it doesn't care what we kill. You got any kill missions? Yep. Nice. Sweet, a freaking traveler. What's up, dude? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not even listening to you here. I'll tell you everything. You happy about that? Oh, thanks. That's exactly what I'm here for. It's like you know stuff. Thank you. I think they stack in 20. Yep, 20. All right, so let's go get the grave, and then we'll go kill the monstrosities. See, if you just do exactly what it tells you to do, you're gonna miss a lot of stuff. You gotta kinda be able to jump out on your own and kinda know what's available for you. That way you can hit as much stuff as you can. I mean, you can just do what it tells you, and you can have an enjoyable experience, but if you kinda know what you're looking for, oh, this is a glitch planet too. Oh, sweet. Look at this. Like a little Christmas tree right there. Oh, there's a glitch. See the question mark? It's this little white guy right here. Oh, I see another one over there. Pretty easy to spot, honestly. Yeah, I got room for one more, and there it is. Oh, wow. See, this is a game that does not punish you for having ADD. We'll take that. Three glyphs. Guys, I've been incredibly lucky. 
I've been to four systems and I found three glyphs so far. All right, so let's go to the infested planet. All right, we're gonna kill a bunch of monstrosities. I was gonna say we're about to kill two birds with one stone, but we're about to kill 59 monstrosities with a bunch of plasma. So it's like it's like that, but different. Interesting. I'm thinking there's a storm going on. Yep. All right, we're going to wait for the storm to blow over. We're setting up the grill, monstrosities. Bob's fitting to cook you. Kill you. Oh, I'm cook you. I'm you. Boom. There goes six. Anybody else? Sixteen. You see why I like this plasma launcher? Shoot him in the face. Hey, chill out, you guys. All right, we're at forty. Forty-one. Anybody else? You guys good? Am I done? I'm just killing for fun now. All right. We're done. 250 Quicksilver. Circuit board. It's worth a million bucks. What's up, buddy? You ready to pay up? Hand in missions. So look, I've got all of these to hand in. Because I did them all at once. Well, you get the point, right? We made a bunch of money, a bunch of nanites, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this video is about over, and I'm tired of cutting this scene up. So, let's wrap it up here, guys. I enjoyed this. I had a lot of time. This was about five hours of footage I cut down to about 30 minutes for you guys. So, um, I, I want to show the progress. I want to show me making money so people aren't like, how'd you go from 12 million to 70 million? Um, I sell chlorine. That's what I do. So, I'm not going to show that stuff anymore. I'm not going to show the repetitive things anymore. I just wanted to show that it is possible to go through that process and do that and build up pretty quickly. Uh, so, we'll get into more base building. We'll get into more uh, uh, freighters. We're going to get into some more exocraft stuff uh, in the next one, I hope. And I uh, hope to see you there, too. If, uh, if you've enjoyed this, if you've been enjoying this series, guys, I hope I've earned your sub. Uh, we're working really hard here for you to get one of these out every day at about this time. And uh, I hope you appreciate that and will uh, give us a sub and a like. And uh, let some other people know about this, guys. We're on a march to 20,000 subs, and it has been an amazing ride. Thank you guys so much for coming with me and supporting me throughout this whole process. This is Survival Bob saying, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And, uh... You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna kill some monstrosities, use a plasma launcher. It's a lot more fun that way. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys.